Hello guys, it's Pokemon Gaming here, back again with Fallout 4. Uh, well, I was actually just exploring the wastes and doing some boring quests like go here, kill people, and go back. This is for the Minutemen story, by the way. I needed to go uh, kind of close to Ironworks, from around there. And kill people. Uh, I forgot if I even did it, but basically, I was um, killing people, and I went and got to level twenty. And I remembered one thing from an old playthrough. Also, I needed to go to Paladin Dance anyway. Went to Paladin Dance, and something happened. I'll uh, put that up on the screen now. That's Snowball and Station. <clears throat> huh. We just have to try and find that crash site now. So just try and find some large amount of fire. I get my shotgun out. Oh, I see um fire over here. Came in. Maybe we and we saw it cra go go from there to crash here. So it's an alien spaceship, and there's some alien blood on the ground. Need to see if there's any more. See where it's gone to. Take caps. It's got the same green blood. Cave. Whoa. Um Bingo. Okay. <clears throat> that does some serious damage. Like tons. I'm about five hundred now. Six hundred rounds of alien blaster. I'm I think I'm decent for alien blaster ammo now. 
Bay of Bottle. Looks like it was trying to communicate. Too bad though. This that's the same feeling as the stuff we as the ones that we got the alien atomizer and disintegrator from. Hmm. Well I'll actually get back on to the actual video. So uh yeah, an alien spaceship crashed. Awesome. I do need to go report back to Paladin Dance, but I am going to do something for this episode, and that is finally do this quest. Because I think that will be the last Creation Club quest I have to do other than the pint sized problem. Yeah. I think that one will be it. Um, after that, that should be done, because I want to do the pint-sized problem a bit later on. But I want to do this one now to get it over and done with, because it's literally on the edge of the glowing sea. Also, I have tons of alien blaster ammo now. And, uh, yeah, tons. I also moved around my thing. Also, when I was gone, I was able to get a sniper rifle. Because, I can never have too many of them. Yeah, I was able to get tons of flamer ammo, but I did use quite a lot of it anyway. When I was, like, exploring, there was a de death claw around here. But we are on the edge of the glowing sea right now. Gonna holo tape. I'll take the fusion cell from right away. Also, I changed the look of my pit boy. <laughs> uh, we have to go to inventory and miscellaneous. Gonna hollow tight. There we go. Instructions for crane. Crane against my prostate. Prostatations. So I'd want me to give a, you a copy of the newest backdoor for the Pit Boys. Instead of going through the current OS, it active it accesses a lower level of code within the device. When it once it does that, something quite interesting happens. Ah, I'm wasting my time. All of you need to do this. Pull a plug from the back of the Pit Boy carefully this time, and simply insert it into an any pit boy provided the plug is removed. And the backdoor pro program should do the trick automatically. Once inside you can pull data from any pit boy you find, coordinates, logs, you name it. Sarge was hoping if we find any vault dwellers in the, in the field we'll be able to locate more vaults through the pit boys. You know what that means? The hell, you you, knowing you, you'll probably end up leading the Vault Dwellers to us. Rather than... other way round. I hope Sarge knows what he is doing. Oh, download Pip-Boy data. Corrupted data, corrupted image file. Oh, that literally just takes me out of the thing. So these are all corrupted. But this is the only one there. Holy crap! Where am I gonna start? I've just, I'm just glad I have this thing, have this thing to write it all down. We've been locked down in the spot for weeks, and I've, I'm, I'm bored as hell. The games on these things get old fast. It was fun putting notes can kick me and caught Caroni the back for a while, but the next thing you know, Brass says there's a paper shortage. Also, it's not exactly the easy playing prank on someone who spends all the time in their room. Me and the boys were trying to reprogram the assault to give him a wedgie, 
but yeah, less said about that, the better. It was then I remembered Lazinski telling me he programmed the Pit Boys for Sarge so we can better track guys on the glowing sea missions. Well, we'll well, the jokes on you, Lazinski. I've found a way better use for this for your stupid program. I've got a few. S pardon me. <laughs> of the squad together and we managed to break into the kitchen to take some old wheat, some old Milox soup that I've been smelling out the canteen for days and then we hoisted it by a rope over the atrium. After that we all had to do was watch Crony walk down the hallway, get his dinner after everyone and everyone else had gone to bed. I can't even describe and the anticipation, Jesus Christ, I've got a lisp, I hate this. Watching the little car caroni blip and move along my pit boy screen. By the time the blip appeared in the atrium, I lifted my head and there, there he was completely unaware he was going to smell like a dead mile lurk in the sun. I told James to pull, and the next thing you know, the gl the goop came falling down on his head. His face was a goddamn picture, I swear. He was about to cry, I haven't seen him seen him since. And to think Sarge wanted to use these things to track us for missions tomorrow. Wow. Do not mean to grab you. deserve that. Okay, so we are going into the glowing sea. Okay. Didn't know we'd actually be going into the glowing sea. I mean, we can take some Rad X and the Radaway. But that's around about it. It's not like it's going to be going much better for us. Yes, I'm too lazy to actually walk over there. Plus, I think it'd be slightly quicker for fast travel. So, yeah. Rad out, Rad X has already worn, worn, worn off. I need to upgrade toughness. They're not even actually tell. You're now getting less less than a rad. There are tons of enemies in here. Jeez. How the hell are we going to get out if we jump in? If I jump in, I am so dead. Okay. I don't know how the hell I'm going to get out. But it's funny as hell watching these guys jump in into the barrel of the shotgun. Though I will say. Reload while he's coming over. It's just funny. I'm not wasting another bullet. Where's that? Getting less than a rat.
That's legendary. What? I missed both shots. Much better. That'll be awesome to sell. Okay, I'll take another shotgun shell for free. Pencil's good. Church safe. Bottle cap fusion cell right away. Cram. Radex. Transfer. Okay. I better use this thing for something. Maybe a con confessional of thoughts will make me feel better about what I did. Here it goes. Caroni, he never exactly was the ideal ideal mercenary, but he worked well at, we worked well as a team. He was good at all technical stuff, hacking terminals, getting through automated doors, disabling turrets and me. Well I just finished the job. It all changed through when we signed up for the gunners. They were paying far more than we could make on our own, so it seemed like we uh, it was a no-brainer at the time. Little did I know what would happen when Caroni Foot was forced to work with people other than myself. So this guy may have been his friend even before he were working. Dang. When I was assigned to my squad, it was like I had to, had known them for years. We worked well together, and the guys respected me for my markmanship. But Caroni was a different story. It was always an acquired taste. His shyness, sh shyness frustrated Sarge. It was a mistake to shove a laser rifle into his hands when I knew that his be best skills lay uh, elsewhere. I thought when we took the vault things would change that it, that he'd come out of his shell. Instead the opposite happened. These damn pit boys is obsessed with them. He spends all his time in his room playing with, playing these games. I've tried to snap him out of it, tell tell him that Sarge is going to boot him out if the of the gunners or worse, but he always rebuffs me. It's funny, I still beat him in these games despite him playing him way longer way longer than I have. But if I hear best of three one more time, I might snap. Maybe one day he'll shape up. But I can't wait lot that long. I've got to do something quickly. I owe him I owe him for saving my life. This vault is filled with chems, and it's not like they were going to miss a few short shots of Psycho. Okay. Missed. Let's dive into the battle. I will take free one money. For two reasons, actually. I guess I'll take the pipe pistol because I can scrap it. Where is that safe? Cigarette. There we go. Flip lighter, that's good. Duct tape. Ball cap. Ball cap and research test tube. Ball cap, rad X, pre warm money and cotton yarn. Um To be fair, these things are not that far away from each other. So I'm so glad for that. Well, we should have only just took two, but I, I think it's pretty fine. It's good that we're taking less than a rad. 
still need to go to Virgil's cave. I think it's a cave at least. Because I mean, I don't think the guy's going to be lasting long out here. That's for sure. Unless he has to, unless Virgil is like a goal. Relay tower. Fusion cell. Radex. Well, I'm going to take another shot of Radex. <sighs> Don't let it boy. Data. Let's see what this guy did. Again, all of it's corrupt data. Unless. Yeah, 87. Twenty two eighty seven. So eleventh or so twenty Oh this is no, okay. This was basically this is all a month ago. Making my own mission report here in case anybody comes across my body. If you're incapable to identi identify me, I'm Lieutenant Levin Levinsky, Tech Specialist on Salvage Team 20. We managed to locate the wreckage, it's likely intact, and survived the crash. That said, we understood the hostiles we would likely encounter on our mission, as a, as a result, two-thirds of the platoon are dead, or MIA. It's like... Lee, I would have been right with their wisdom if it wasn't for Caroni. I wasn't sure why Sarge had picked the private to accompany us on this mission, but for a moment I was glad he did. My good feelings were short-lived, however, despite uh, despite saving us, Caroni wasn't wouldn't respond to orders. The only time he would make such a peep was when uh, one of our uh, fire team killed a hostile. Every time that happened, Caroni would would look anxio anxiously to for another mutant to put down. We tried to tell him that every but every hostile he killed risk risked us being swarmed once more, he wouldn't but he wouldn't listen. It was as if he was determined to get the most killed out of all of us. Did he think this was kept some sort of game or something? We didn't hold a position for long. Even Caroni didn't fancy it fancy his chances with the two death claws that flanked us. For once we agreed on something. We ran into a nearby cave and it appeared that the beasts had lost our scent. It was it was there we found some type of pre war weapon. Now I DSM uh, now I re, re reassembled and de deassembled uh deset disassembled and reassembled a plasma rifle before but this was like nothing like I had ever seen. It, we had to take this back to base but first we had to get some rest. When I woke up I discovered not only where all our ments were gone but Caroni was hunched over the weapon on a boulder. It's consistent or whatever that word says. I'm, I'm terrible I know. <laughs> Parts were scattered all across the rock face. At the time, even with the, with death almost cer certainly, I still couldn't let this promotion opportunity go. I tackled Caroni, he fought back. Once the fray started, the rest jumped in, all of us fighting over the weapon. The noise attracted what was left of the glowing seas population to our position, and soon we were running for our lives on smart. To say we weren't so lucky this time was an understatement. I watched the rest of us being torn apart. The weapon, it worked. Caroni fired it mindlessly into the storm. Its effectiveness is, is clear, but wasn't enough. The last I saw of him, he was running into the sea. The ribbons of electricity from his weapon slowly grown tinier and tinier into the fog. I got away again. 
most of me did anyway. I'm hoping to try and use a transmitter radio for help. But it's only a matter of time now. Oh god. That was a bit of a surprise. Them back. Well, for some reason, the glowing sea isn't exactly the glowing sea anymore. I need to look for best of three. Oh wait, we need to listen to the gun signal remnant. Getting stronger this way. Towards the plane crash, maybe? Because they were talking about a crash. Weren't they? You know what? I'm gonna go take my chances with the Radex. And I don't feel like getting radiation poisoning. It is getting stronger near the crash site. I always get the chills when I'm inside the glowing sea because I absolutely hate this. Mainly for a sense of how, like, which fog there is. You can barely see anything. Yeah, so it's getting stronger when you're uh, in the actual, like, flight ship thing flight data recorder Okay, I think I'm just going to go turn the remnant signal off. Inside. Um, 22 of the... That's the exact same day. The aircraft was in pieces, but those pieces are intact. We're about to check inventory, see if we can come carry some of this equipment back to the vault. 
back to the, or back to Vault 95, until we see it saw a blue light in the fog. As if it grew closer, we raised our weapons. I could hardly believe my eyes. It was that, that good for nothing, Caroni. It didn't take long to guess why this coward survived. He had something hoisted over his shoulder. Groutly, glowly brighter. Jesus Christ, how, what is Groutly? Buddy was going to give away our position. I told him to put it down. He didn't. I told him it was an order. He didn't respond. He drew our weapons. So we drew our weapons again. I ordered him once more. He stood there and I, and I told my men to approach. As they surrounded him, some kind of lightning bolt. Bolt. Jeez, bolt. Bolt. Shot from the thing. It turned felt. Felled into ash. We covered the. Every area had bullets, but when the smoke cleared, the sun the sun of our gun was gone. He couldn't go one circuit without tripping over. His shoelaces now can disappear in his flash. We darted the fuselage for cover, and he came at us again. He didn't even take cover as it, he persuaded us and took out two of our men. I was sure I was sure I was dead, so I leapt at him and hit him squarely on the jaw. Jaw, I mean. I'm guessing that meant jaw. He fell onto the floor of the cabin. What was left of us joined in, joined me in holding him down. We hated the fact that we needed him alive, but the command needed, the, the command needed, needed what, needed to know what happened out of it, otherwise I would have been sh I would have shot the guy myself. He may have put up a good fight, but people like that, even with every advantage, they always lose. You got, uh, what? Do some damage with what's in <laughs> Jesus! Improved Thunderbolt, screw you. Caroni. World Cap Fusion so right away. Oh my god. I did tons of damage. Wow. Best of three is done. That's a Tesla. Oh yeah, you can see ash. Everywhere. Getting fusion cells from it though. Take that. Okay, so that's best of three done. Well, of course, like always, we have to go back to Red Rocket Truck Stop and uh, check out the uh, actual like gum stats and the, uh, of course, the best uh, damage options, I guess. Right, uh, yeah, we're detected, but that's just from all these. Right, I cannot do that. Like, laser pistol, definitely, pipe pistol, definitely. 
Definitely. Modify. Tesla. The chain. Standard barrel. It's improved beaten. We need rank 4 in science for that though. Standard receiver. The wave off oscillator, we just need more crystal. Okay. Better, better damage. That does way more damage, but again, we only we need rank 4 in science and 7 crystal. And the triple resistant, that does superior damage, we need rank 2 in gun, rank 4 in science, and 8 crystal. For that. I will be definitely making that, because that does tons of damage for one shot. Guess I could just make that. Oh, we had a blue beam, but now the thing has... So I want to see what does more damage. So this does... This does more damage. This... Oh god, please tell me. I mean to... Accidentally shoot these two. That insta killed this though. So it'll do less damage, like, around, but like... Let's, um... I'm gonna cut back to you whenever sorted this inventory space out. Uh, I think I'm just going to leave it there for this episode, to be fair. So, um, if you liked this episode, uh, like, comment, and uh, subscribe, and actually, uh, if you actually want to tell me what faction I should try and lead with, the Brotherhood Institute, because I think you can side with them, or any other factions, um, comment. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.